Good morning, guys. Happy St. Patrick's Day. It's St. Patrick's Day. Everybody in my family where's is wearing chocolate? green. Wait, where's your green? You're not even wearing green. I know, I'm not wearing green. You're Sophie. Wearing black and blue. I'm wearing black and blue. So Gabby is at least wearing a different pair of breeches today. I was like, Gabby, everybody's going to start thinking. I never knew I had this pair in my drawer. I like this pair. It's blue there, though, because I wore it once and I got blue. So, so she's wearing gray and blue. All right, well, finally, she yes. has like a gazillion pairs of really nice breeches and she only wears two pairs. And Mom didn't do laundry. And I did not do laundry, so. I three, I so she pair. was gonna wear the dirtiest pair she had. I thought this pair was in the laundry. I thought you were late. All right, get down here so I can French braid your hair. Ow. Oh. So the new thing is me French braiding Grabby's hair. Grabby. People call her oh, Grabby. I think it's somebody from a different country, but she calls her Grabby. Uh, <laughs> I like it though. Oh, but before we get started on today's video, I wanted to say one last thing. I'm the only I was gonna have the last green. word. I always have to have the last word. Yeah, <coughs> Sophie's, I'm the only one green. Sophie's wearing green. It is true. It's too small for you that shirt. So my last point is this: there are always gonna be people in life that disagree with you, that don't, that judge you, that don't see your life the way that. You, they think it should be. They have. There are always yes, going to be people. To you storm only kicked up because he was hurt. There are always going to be people who think you should be doing something different and better with your life. And this is what I've said to other people. I have other friends that are going through hard times, like teachers. And this is what I have to say. This is what I need to stay focused on because this is what we all need to stay focused on. There are always going to be people who don't believe in you, don't trust in you, don't think you're doing your own life, your own, the right way. There are always gonna be people who have an opinion on how you should be doing it better. And in the end, what has to be important is that you know your own intentions, your own life better than anybody. And sometimes you just have to acknowledge the fact that your intentions in your heart are in the best spot, even if somebody else doesn't agree. You just have to walk away from it. Be yourself, know that you're doing the right thing for you and then just leave it and it's a hard thing to do you guys but you guys can do it if i can do it hopefully i can do it but if i can do it you guys can all do it just walk away allow other people to have judgments that are negative and bad just walk away from them walk mm -hmm. away from the situation and just continue to live your life in harmony with your own heart comment down below if you're wearing oh. green oh guess what people said about your jump with willow what out of 10, guess what they gave you? 10? 10, 11, 100. People said it was wow. awesome and that you had such a good bond with her and they were very proud of your jump with her. Wow, yes. she did! Oh, poor Gabby. She has dog drool on her. All right, we are getting ready to leave. I sent the girls down to feed the horses and let them out because we have to go and I have to finish up packing Gabby's lunch. And um, it's just easier if I'm doing one thing, they're doing another thing. and. I'm so proud of them. Like, one thing I love about having horses at home is that it's taught them to make decisions and do things that, like, just make decisions on their own. Like, I'm so proud of them. Like, they know what to do and they know how to change things around to better suit our horses. And such an amazing learning experience. And I'm really proud of how they problem solve and do things on their own. Like, I'm so proud of my kids, you guys. And that's why Gabby's getting what she's getting for her birthday. Shh. All right, we're here. That always makes me laugh that the horses stare at us. Like they're all like our horses. They're like, wait, what do you what do you want from me? Like, am I coming with you? They're so funny. You look cute. Hey, happy St. Patrick's Day. Let's see who wins. Gabby wins. Fiona wins. Wait, Fiona's just. Who's what? Win. You win because you dressed. Green, green. Selfie wins. Laura doesn't win. Green shirt. You win. In for St. Patrick's Day, you got a green coat on. That's just blue. blue. It's it's blue green. Oh. You you lose then. <laughs> Throw one little virus into the mix and everybody forgets St. Oh, Patrick's Day. I thought it was on Saturday. Everybody's standing around the board. This is what they do at the beginning of camp. It's like they're winning a lottery. Gabby, you're on Cheeto. You're on Cheeto. You get Cheeto. Yay! He's out there miserable. He's like standing there. Please take me in. Sophia, you're blocking me. Not even. <laughs> Sophia, don't block her. Oh my goodness. Okay, so first they see what who they ride, and then they get to see what groups they're in. All right, let's see. Gabby, you're like a whole head taller than Molly, and she's older than you. Okay, 
camp is so fun. You're group two. You're going to shave horses. You're gonna shave horses? Good. Learn to shave horses because people get mad that we don't shave our horses. Finn is not getting shaved. No, Finn is not getting shaved. Don't worry. I was going to body clip his whole body and roach his whole mane. Oh my God. No. <laughs> She's learning. do that. It was bad. <laughs> She's like got tears in her eyes. Why would I do that? We're ready to go home. It is pouring. It is horrible. They're going to catch ponies. I feel bad for our ponies. Look at the storm. I really think our barn is going to get closed down. It's going to be the saddest thing. We're, uh, Sam gets time off, which might happen today. Then he's going to work on our, our field, but it's pouring rain, so we can't work on our field. Yeah, it's just a big mess. But if our horses, if the barn gets closed and we can't actually come and see them, which they should, allow us to come when nobody else is here because we have horses here but if they don't um then we're gonna bring them home you want to bring our horses home i do too and we don't have enough stalls for them all but we'll figure it out we'll figure it all the ponies out the can stay outside yeah i think the ponies could stay outside too and by outside i mean in the arena not outside outside yeah like i think the, the ponies could stay out and then the big horses could have the stalls We've done it before where the ponies have stayed out or where the big horses have stayed out. But yeah, things are changing so much, you guys. Just gotta roll with the punches. We are home, Sophie and I are home. We're gonna have breakfast. I just want you guys to know that COVID-19 is not gonna stop us. It's not gonna stop our videos. It's not gonna stop us. The rain though, the rain might stop us because I hate rain, you guys. Just joking. All right, it's time for Sophie and I to do chores. We kind of hung out at the house for a little bit ate watch some Guys, watch some tiktoks is this a good halter or should i give Lou another no that's my favorite halter on her i, I think i should get her another i feel like it's the one that looks the nicest i'm gonna give Lou another once i get money um you're gonna buy her another yeah you have a collection of halters just for willow well i mean they're all hanging up yeah we need to go through our stuff Hi, Sky. Remember when Sky always used to be hand in here, standing here? We didn't put her out in the big mud pit today because it was pouring rain. Oh, it was pouring rain, huh? Was it pouring rain? Look, smell Finn. Look, I have Finn on this glove. I think you took my glove. <laughs> yeah, how did that happen? <laughs> okay, so this Corona break that we're about to have we our country declared a state of emergency this morning and they shut down all the restaurants and all that kind of stuff and yeah people are trying to find cures what people are paying people to find a cure yeah yeah like a 50, vaccine. Yeah, money. a lot of money but anyways so if sam actually gets off work like i don't know why sam's work is holding on to him like they should just let him come home to his family where we love him anyways but I have a solution for the coronavirus. What? Don't go outside. Yeah, so that's what that's what's gonna happen. So when we get secluded in our houses, like it's gonna happen, I plan to work on our farm. Like that's all I wanna do. The only reason we didn't do it today, because I wanna get started, is because it was pouring rain and it's and like cold out. Dad's not home. And dad's not home. But I think we could do it ourselves, to be oh, honest. Oh, I'm fine. So I'm gonna show you guys what I have planned. I feel like every failure makes you learn ten times faster makes you learn 10 times more and i feel like just as you grow you learn more and more so just even from the boys being home last summer i feel like i've learned a lot so this is my plan i plan my plan whoa mud oh my god I'm in quicksand. I can't get out. Oh no. Oh, there we go. Oh gosh. All right. So my plan is to make this field into three. Three. And I want them to go this way. Not that way, but this way. And I want to have three fields. And they'll start with the ones down there that are dry. And then I want the gates to be here. So this area here, I want it to be like a path. And I want it to be, I want to have three gates here. I don't know if you guys heard any of that because of the wind, but I want to divide the big field out there into three. 
Are you itchy, Gracie? You okay? She seems kind of spooky today, all this weather. All this weather, all the rain. Are you okay? Oh, yeah, I wanna divide it into three, and my point and my reason for it is, is that I would have three fields plus this one, but basically I'd be able to give the horses like rotate fields so that the grass can grow back so that they can eat grass. I don't know if they're gonna come home if this clears up really fast and we aren't banned from the barn and we can continue like riding at the barn even if it's just us by ourselves or if um like i don't i don't know what's going to happen but if we have to bring them home i'm going to bring them home so we're going to be working on that this weekend we're going to get it all prepared sam was against it but i've got him on board anyways that's what's going to happen i want to do that i want to make like three nice big fields that i can rotate maybe put the girls in one the boys in another or put storm and um sky in a field and then finn and chino i feel like they'd be a good match like we're just gonna have to play it all by ear but things are changing everything is changing and if it changes like a lot then it's going to be changing a lot for us too when the barn reopens and all this mess is over then we'll probably take our horses back to get ready for show season but i just don't know how long it's going to take or or i just don't know like how yeah i just don't know how long it's going to take or if everything will be reinstated some people are saying it could take six months some people are saying like it's only going to take a couple of months like i don't know but yeah i'm prepared to bring our horses home and I'm not gonna lie, there's a small part of me that's like kind of excited to bring them home. Gabby, on the other hand, is all she sees is mucking out stalls. <laughs> She's not happy about that. Are you excited if we have to bring our horses home? Yes. Me too. Yeah, and play with them and take them for rides. Like I wanna go trail riding. I can go ride this ring, it's too strong. Yeah, I know, we gotta get this ring ready. Chino couldn't ride in this ring, that's for sure. I know, but we can go on trails and we can do fun stuff. An interesting addition to our barn, apparently Gabby needed to do math one day when she was mucking stalls. It just came into her oh, mind. No, that she, was when the farrier was here. Oh, when the farrier was here and she was bored out of her mind, she apparently needed to do yeah. math. Interesting. I just watched her. Every time we come here to pick up the girls, I always make them go out there and pick up all the hay that the boys lost. Somebody suggested putting hay nets inside the buckets, which I love that idea. I just don't know if the barn that feeds them would do it. So then they're not tossing it out, especially if it's secured in there. But I love the idea. And I love all the ideas for helping Sophie do her hair better. I wanna use some of them. I'll show you in a future video. What? All right, how was camp? Good. Did you do anything good? Did Chino jump good? No. He was bad? Yeah. Why was he bad? He kept on taking legs and he was tired. Beautiful, let your hand go. Very nice, look up. Chino's pretty, it's fine. Look up, breathe. One, two. Do the red the other way too, please. Half halt, make him add that stride. Lift him up, lift him up, lift him up, lift him up. Yes, lead change. Back end. Half halt, slow him down. Circle. Yeah, you have to listen to your rider. Fiona said he didn't listen to you. At all. Okay, look at this. Newton. Look at Newton. Remember that really fuzzy? Remember that really fuzzy pony that was here in yesterday's video? I think it was. The really fuzzy, fuzzy, fuzzy pony. He got shaved. Look at him. Isn't he gorgeous? Look, he's got four white legs. How is that Newton? <laughs> it's him. Yeah.